te la duki velu Com roupa suga Escada que estreito Janela com fula Nho, nho, nha, canta Min pau quente, quente Padeiro grita Sol forte deriva Tem, tem, lou de basso Assim são Macau What we call Maquista the Maquista is the real name of our, our, our language. It's a Portuguese-based Creole and uh, incorporated a lot of linguistic elements uh, like the Malay le uh, element, the Konkani from, from India, um, even the Spanish. Cantonese inc was incorporated as well. It's a language, soul language, with all these this, this elements. This is a fact that uh, nowadays nobody will really use the language. So uh, yes, uh, it's uh, in the in this dangerous danger status. A language to survive, you need to use it. In Macau, we had this lost tradition of patois patois theater. When the, the old theater reinaugurated, the government at the time said that we had to have this this Patois Theatre again. And I ventured myself to, uh, to write a play. We didn't, I didn't know what is a playwright, what is to be on stage. I, we didn't know nothing about that. It's pure fun. You just went there and, okay, we are, we're going to act. I wrote a play, a very small skit, we, we acted at this play and the reaction was great. And then we had, we was aware that people expected from us that this language should be on stage. We used the, uh, this, this language as a, a memory trigger, memory trigger of the old days, Macau old days, lost days of Macau. Yeah, claro que... The stage has this, uh, this magic of uh, teaching you something that most likely you wouldn't imagine that you would learn something from the stage. So they most likely, they, they speak after, after the show. I would say fluently, I would say fluently, some sentences, which is good, which is very good. So I'm quite happy. Uh, we are very prone to, to, to try new things, new formulas, always renewing the way that, um, that, uh, that uh, the audience might expect from us. Through that stage, through this Patois theatre, we might trigger an awareness. Coexistence of culture, coexistence of everything. Everybody will respect everybody. So this is what we should we should preserve.